When I was growing up, no one talked to me about why Dad acted so strange. I only knew that I hated when my friends from school would see us. In the 60s, my mom read that a loving home could cure my dad's illness. But his schizophrenia didn't go away. Looking back, I wonder if things had been talked about openly, could things have been different? It took years to get the right information and support. Now that I have my own family, I'm reminded that I was about my daughter's age when my feelings of shame began. My dad's illness motivated me to become a doctor, and over the years I've met a lot of people who've experienced the same thing. So much shame and silence. Recently I learned something that shocked me, that about 450 million people globally have some type of mental illness but we hear so little. I've been wondering what other families are experiencing. What support do they get? I've decided to stop wondering, and I'm starting my journey by going to India, a country known for its strong family ties. wants to come forward and share their story. If, if you have any thoughts, because I don't know where else to call. There's really very, almost no other groups in, in Delhi. It's been weeks, and while I'm talking to everyone I can, I have not found anyone who will talk to me about mental illness, in themselves or in their family a city of nearly 17 million people, and I'm getting nowhere. Finally, I've found one of the very few advocacy groups in India, and I'm happy because the leader of the group says she will meet with me and bring her daughter. She tells me her daughter has schizophrenia and is doing well now. Oh. Please sit here only, no, don't throw your face there. I can't believe it, but now the mom says I can't film her daughter's face. Do you feel like she's having any symptoms of her illness now? No, no, no. You know right now you're worried about her identity, so we're not showing her face. What time in her life would you be more comfortable for the world to know? If somebody will come and marry her, It's clear this interview is not going to work. I'm back to looking, and finally, a contact I've made at one of the two psychiatric hospitals in Delhi tells me that she's found a family willing to talk with me. The daughter, Sonal, comes here for her appointments with a psychiatrist. She has been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Yeah. 